wanted it to be more visual for yeah. the song. That's why I felt like like it needs that mm -hmm. in a little bit more depth. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. bring it back to a little bit more depth. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, I could definitely see that too. Like adding more stuff. But yeah. We just did that on a one day run. Like yeah. Fuck it, and this is what we thought of. And no, for sure. That was it. Oh, for sure. I mean, like same two thing, hours like budget too, because budget, yeah. but but is budget an issue for you? Like, budget is tough, bro. Like, yeah. Right Could, now, because just, of me investing in my equipment, yeah. Like that's like high key, what's really been holding me that down oh. off of putting content. Mm -hmm. Me as an artist. Yeah. You know, like. If you your budget was a little higher, you would probably put out more content. Definitely hiring more directors and yeah, stuff like that. I'd probably have a bunch of more videos. Is that what like um, is that what like um determines on who you pick as far as like shooting videos, like a, a director? Does budget have kind a, of yeah, kind of yeah? Because I mean, because I mean, I know that's your that's your boy, right? Uh huh. Yeah, and, and that's of my course, homie, yeah. you, you guys want to build together, of mm -hmm. course. I believe in you him, know, which is why I have him film. Exactly. My, my videos. Oh, um, but there is, like, even for me, like, I'll go to certain engineers or certain things, and I'll be like, I want to go them, and they're not my boys, mm -hmm. but they, they're, they're a certain rate, and I'm like, damn. Yeah. I want to get that guy. Yeah. But I'm like, fuck, I don't know if it fits in the budget right now. I feel that 100%. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I want to like, work with them, but I'm like, damn. Like, you know I, wish, I, mean? I wish I could work with Mike Dean. You okay. You know what I mean? Travis Scott's engineer. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. He have him mix my whole oh, shit. Oh, yeah, I mean, hell yeah. You know, like, I wish I could do that, but I'm pretty sure that's probably not in my fucking budget. Uh, yeah, yeah, not you know? yet. Not yet, exactly. Not yet, you're going to get there. Yeah. You know, so I guess, yeah, budget is a thing, you know, for artists that are coming up because there's a lot of people we want to work with, but we ain't got it like that, so we work with the homies, mm -hmm. you know what I mean, try to Definitely. inspire them, you know, and Definitely. I'm sure you still kick them down a little bit to help him out. Yeah, I do. I do. You yes. know what I'm saying? Just that's not, a mando. Just not as much, yeah. That's a mando. No, for sure. Yeah. Like he, he kicks me down shit too. Yeah, it's, it's so, a mutual thing, you yeah. know, because at the end of the day, like I always tell the homies when they come over here and record, mm -hmm. their help it's their investment mm -hmm. because they're coming back right here, especially the close ones. It's just going to be full circle. Right. Cuz what what is it going to do? It's going to be provided, you know, to go back into the service I'm giving them as mm -hmm. far as getting new plugins, getting new equipment, buying new camera gear, buying all this. So we're all keeping it in the same family. Right. You know what I'm saying? You shoot me some money. You know I ain't out here tricking off. Mm -hmm. You know, if the homie out here tricking off and doing all kinds of stuff. But if you see as you grow, you got your new laptop. As you grow, you got new plugins. As you grow, you got new equipment. It's Facts. like... I'm gonna support the homie. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Shot him a little yeah. 500 real quick. That yep. if we went to buy a new drone, my video is gonna be even more fire later on. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Like, Facts. so, so it's all just gonna come back around. And if he's as passionate as you think he is, and mm -hmm. and what he shows, mm -hmm. he's gonna just want to get better. Yeah. Because you could Definitely. buy all the equipment, you could buy everything you have, but yeah. it's really the person working the shit. And exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like exactly. all the little details, overexposure, all the little details of editing and all that kind of stuff. We could go a whole list of yeah. like what we do behind the scenes right. As, right. As, as content creators, you know what I'm saying? But it's, it's artists like you that see people like that and support them. You know exactly. So what would be some of the key factors going into like picking a director? Um, obviously, we talked about budget. Budget's a key factor, Budget's right? Budget's one, yeah, for sure. Um, we also talked about being relatable. Mm -hmm. Talked about being understanding, understanding you know, communicating, with each other. Uh -huh. and, and creating content together. I feel that not 100%. just one track, right? Hundred percent. But I guess quality. Yeah, quality. Right. Yeah. And um, having a vision. The vision. Um, I would say how he edits the video. Mm -hmm. Like, is the it editing in sequence? Is a big, editing is a big thing. Is the sequence like? smooth yeah or it's just like does he does he understand how the how the song is supposed to be portrayed? when it comes in when it comes out when yeah it cuts yeah like is, is he like in sync with the video like mm -hmm. with with like your lips and everything the music oh, you know okay, the music yeah. like i feel like all that, that like, shit makes for me too, too yeah like really like choose some somebody his transition's got to be smooth his uh, idea of the video, how it's being shot, like nighttime or daytime, like he got to pick it out too, like yeah, because he knows his equipment. Equipment that's dope, you know. Yeah, actually, you brought up a good point right there because um, telling the story yeah is a tough part. Shooting the story is mm -hmm. one thing, but telling the story in editing room is a, is a whole different thing. Exactly, you know, and, and nobody mentioned that so far on this podcast, and it's like. 
mm-hmm. that's that's actually a big key right there because a lot of editors are overlooked for being able to tell a story. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Can you can you create engaging content? Can you keep the audience in tune? Mm-hmm. Does it hit when he says a certain phrase? Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm my not point. always saying like, yo, talk about my shoes and then show the shoe. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like yeah. cuz in the beginning stages, I feel like that a lot of directors editors do that like, uh, show the shoes, you know. It's, it's but but of- if it's like more of like Use it in a different way, you know. Show something that still tells the story, but not being so obvious. Oh shit! Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. kind of like telling it, like, um, how can I say, more like a discreet way. You uh-huh. know what I'm saying? But engaging with the story, and, uh-huh. and like you said, fades too, because a lot of these editors, like a lot of run and gun things, though, uh-huh. when they go run and gun shooting, it's like editing like crazy ass effects and shit like that. Yeah, bro.